Konnichiwa, welcome back. In this video, we will study new Japanese grammar from the Mina no Nihongo textbook, lesson 16. Here, we will learn how to connect sentences with multiple verbs, adjectives, or nouns. If you're ready, hajime masho. Here are the grammar points that we would learn in this lesson. The first one is how to connect sentences with multiple verbs or more than one verb. For example, do verb, then do another verb. We do that by using the te form of the verb, just like so. Verb 1 te, verb 2 te, and then the last part of the sentence will determine the tense of the verb if it's in past, present, or future tense. For example, asa wa nani o shimasu ka? So in the morning, what do you do? So this is a routine. For example, in the morning, I take a shower, eat breakfast, and do work. So our first verb or first action is take a shower. So we say asa or asa wa, shawa o. Take a shower is shawa o abimas. And then we will change it to te form so it becomes abite. Our verb two is eat breakfast. So it's asagohan o tabemas becomes tabete. And then lastly, do work, which is shigoto o shimas. So this is in a present or future tense. Asa shawa abite, asa go no tabete, shigoto shimas. Next example, nichi obi wa nani o shimashita ka? What did you do last Sunday? So this is in a past form. So for example, I met with my friend at Shibuya, watched a movie, and then ate dinner. So first, our verb one is met with my friend at Shibuya. So we begin with Shibuya de. So from now on, I will just write the name of places in kanji just to save some space. So this is Shibuya de, Tomodachi ni, met, or meet is aimas. So we use the te form, which is so the verb tense of the first verb or the second verb doesn't matter. We just use the te form of the verb and then only the last part will determine the tense of the whole sentence. So, Shibuya de tomodachi ni atte. Next is watch a movie. Eiga o mite. So, watch is mimas. So, mite. And then lastly, eat dinner. Yuyushoku o tabemas becomes tabemashita because it is in a past tense. Eight. Tabemashita. Shibuya de tomodachi ni atte ega o mite yuyushoku o tabemashita. Next example. Yokohama eki kara ginza eki made no ikikata o oshete kudasai. Please. Teach me or tell me the way how to get to Ginza from Yokohama. So for example, from Yokohama station, please ride the JR train, get off at Shimbashi, then after that, transfer to a subway train, then get off at Ginza station. So we have multiple verbs here because we are giving an instruction. So let's begin with Yokohama eki kara. From Yokohama Station, ride the JR train. JR densha ni ride is norimas, so it becomes notte. Then get off at Shimbashi. Shimbashi de get off is orimas, so it becomes orite. Then after that, you can simply continue with this or you can put Sore kara, so after that, transfer to a subway train. Transfer is 
Norikaimas or transfer or change train. So we say, Chikatetsu ni, Chikatetsu is subway. Norikaite, and then our last verb is, please get off at Ginza station. Ginza eki de, orite kudasai. Yokohama eki kara, JR densha ni notte, shinbashi de orite, sore kara, chikatetsu ni norikaite, Ginza eki de, orite kudasai. Okay, next is how to connect sentences with E adjectives or more than one E adjective. We simply remove E and replace that with kute. So E adjective kute. For example, Otousan wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person is your father? For example, you want to say, my father is a kind and smart person. Otousan wa kind is shinsetsu or yasashi. So here I'll be using the e adjective yasashi. It becomes yasashikute because we remove e and replace that with kute. Yasashikute. Our next adjective is smart. Atama ga i. Hito desu. So, otousan wa yasashikute. So, kind and smart. Atama ga ii hito desu. Otousan wa yasashikute. Atama ga ii hito desu. Next example, Hokkaido wa tenki ga dou deshita ka? In Hokkaido, how was the weather? The weather was fine and cool in Hokkaido. Hokkaido wa tenki ga. So the weather. So our adjectives are fine, which is e, which becomes yokute from the word yoi. So remember, we cannot conjugate or change e. We can only change yoi. So we use yoi and make it yokute. Cool is suzushi. Since it is a past tense, we say suzushikatta. Des. Hokkaido wa tenki ga yokute suzushikatta des. Singapore no tabemono wa dou desu ka? How is the food in Singapore? For example, the food is delicious and cheap. I highly recommend it. So here we're connecting two adjectives and another sentence. We can say, Tabemono wa, or Singapore no tabemono wa, delicious is oishi. It becomes oishikute, cheap is yasui, yasukute, highly recommended is sugoku osusume desu. Sugoku is highly. Osusume is to recommend. Next is how to connect sentences with multiple nouns or na adjectives. We do that by changing des to de. For example, Kyoto is beautiful and there are many interesting things. Kyoto wa beautiful is Kire. So, kire de. So, des becomes de. Meaning, and followed by there are many interesting things. Omoshiroi mono ga takusanarimasu. Kyoto wa kire de omoshiroi mono ga takusanarimasu. Miss Nguyen is Vietnamese and a foreign exchange student. Nguyen san wa Vietnamese is Betonamujin de a foreign exchange student, which is Ryugakse des. Nguyen san wa Betonamujin de Ryugakse des. 
My father is a pilot and my mother is a nurse. My father is chichi or otosan. Chichi wa pilot is pairotto de. My mother is a nurse. Haha wa kangoshi desu. Chichi wa pairotto de haha wa kangoshi desu. Just be careful when connecting sentences with contradictions. For example, the bullet train is fast but expensive. Shinkansen wa hayai desu ga or hayai desu ga. So but becomes ga. Expensive is takai desu. Shinkansen wa hayai desu ga takai desu. Shinkansen wa hayai desu ga takai desu. So again, if you want to say noun or adjective and another adjective or sentence, we use de. But when there are contradictions, we use ga. The next pattern is saying after doing verb, you do the next verb using the pattern verb one. Te kara, so te form of the verb, followed by kara, verb to. So in previous lessons, we've learned kara means from or because. Here, kara means after. For example, after inserting the card, please push this button. So the order of the verb is verb one first and then verb two. So our first verb is insert the card, which is kado o. Insert is iremas. So we disregard the tense of the verb and just use the te form of the verb, which is irete. Followed by kara, meaning after inserting the card, kado irete kara. Followed by verb two, which is please push this button. Kono botan o oshite kudasai. Kado irete kara kono botan o oshite kudasai. Another example: After graduating from university, I will travel the world. So our first verb is graduate from university. Daigaku o dete kara. After graduating from university, I will travel the world. Sekai o ryokou shimasu. Daigaku o dete kara sekai o ryokou shimasu. So again, the second verb will determine the tense of the sentence. Another example, would you like to drink beer with me after we finish work? So here our first verb is Finishing work first, and then drinking beer next. So we say, "Shigoto o finish is owarimas," which becomes "owatte kara." So after finishing work, or after we finish work, would you like to drink beer with me? So you are inviting someone. So we use the pattern, "Biro nomimasen ka." Shigoto owatte kara biro nomimasen ka? We can also ask questions using this pattern. Verb te kara nani o verb ka? For example, what will you do after you quit your job? The first action or the first verb is quitting your job. So what will you do next? We say quit your job is Shigoto o or kaisha o yamete kara. So yamete is from yamemas, quit. After quitting your job, what will you do? Nani o shimasu ka? Shigoto o yamete kara, nani o shimasu ka? Another example, you went to Kyoto and then what did you do? 
So our first verb is, you went to Kyoto. And then we are asking, what did you do after that? So we say, Kyoto e went. Nani o shimashita ka? What did you do? So if you notice, we didn't put kara. It's like saying, Anata wa Kyoto e itte. You went to Kyoto. Itte becomes went and then, Nani o shimashita ka? What did you do? Kyoto e itte. Nani o shimashita ka? Of course, you can say, Kyoto e itte kara nani o shimashita ka? After you went to Kyoto, what did you do? Are you going somewhere after the meeting is finished? The first verb is to finish the meeting. And we want to ask, are you going somewhere? First, we say meeting is finished. Kaigi ga owatte kara. Kaigi ga owatte kara. Are you going somewhere? Somewhere is doko ka e ikimasu ka? Kaigi ga owatte kara doko ka e ikimasu ka? Next is when you want to describe an attribute or a part of another noun. So noun one is the topic and noun two is the attribute or the part of noun and the attribute is the one that you want to describe or you want to attach an adjective. We mark that by using particle ga. So noun one wa, noun two ga adjective or you can say nouns attribute is adjective for example anna has black hair and big eyes or anna's hair is black and her eyes are big so we say anna san wa hair is kami followed by the particle ga and her adjective is black, which is kuroi, which becomes kurokute because we are connecting this with another adjective, which is big eyes. So, eyes is me, followed by particle ga. Big is oki des. Anna-san wa kami ga kurokute me ga oki des. Another example, that player or that athlete is short but fast. That player is sono senshu. Senshu means a player. Sono senshu wa short is se ga. So se is the height. Followed by our particle ga and short is hikui. Sega hikui, short height. But this ga, so here we have contradictions, so we connect them using ga. And our next adjective is fast or fast foot or quick feet. So we say ashi ga hayai desu. Sono senshu wa sega hikui desu ga ashi ga hayai desu. Next, we can also describe an attribute of a place. For example, in France, the food is delicious or its food is delicious and their wine is famous all over the world. France wa or France de wa. So if the topic is a place, you can mark it with de because it is a place followed by wa. France de wa. The first part of the sentence is the food is delicious. So it's tabemono ga delicious is oishi. Oishikute delicious and because we are connecting this to another adjective, wine is famous all over the world or 
their wine is famous all over the world. Wine ga sekaiju de all over the world famous yume des. France de wa tabemono ga oishikute wine ga sekaiju de yume des. Next is the word doyatte, meaning how to verb. So doyatte verb ka. For example, how do you go to school? Gakko made or gakko e. How? Doyatte, followed by our verb, which is go. Ikimas ka. How do you go to school? For example, from the station, I take the number one bus, then I get off in front of the shrine. From there, I walk for about five minutes to school. So here we are connecting multiple verbs. So we are going to use the first pattern that we've learned in this lesson. Let's try. From the station, I take the number one bus. Ichiban no basu ni notte. Then I get off in front of the shrine. Jinja no mae de. Orimas get off. From there, soko kara. I walk for about five minutes to school. Gakko made gohun gurai arukimas. Eki kara ichiban no basu ni notte jinja no mai de orimas. Soko kara gakko made gohun gurai arukimas. Another example How do you use this vending machine? Vending machine is kono jido hanbai ki. This vending machine. Kono jido hanbai ki wa how do yatte our verb is use skaimasu ka kono jido hanbai ki wa do yatte skaimasu ka for example first please insert money and then push the button of the drink that you like mazu first insert money okane o Irete, push the button of the drink that you like. So this is quite long. It becomes, skina, like. Skina, drinku no botan o. So, let's break this down. Skina drinku means the drink that you like. No botan. So that, so the drink that you like Button, followed by a particle O to mark the object of the action. Push, which is Oshite kudasai. So please push or please press. Mazu okane o irete, skina drinku no botan o oshite kudasai. Drinku could also be nomimono. Mazu okane o irete skina nomimono no botan o oshite kudasai. And lastly, the word dono followed by a noun. So in lesson 2, we've learned kono noun, this noun, sono noun, that noun, ano noun, or that noun over there. So the interrogative word for that is dono noun, meaning which noun, which is used to select from three or more nouns. For example, which person or which one is your brother? Oni san wa brother which person? Dono hito desu ka? Oni san wa dono hito desu ka? Which person is your brother? For example, ano ichiban sega takai hito desu. Ano ichiban sega takai hito desu. That tallest person over there. 
Another example, which car is your car? Anata no kuruma wa don no kuruma desu ka? Anata no kuruma wa don no kuruma desu ka? For example, sono kuruma wa watashi no kuruma desu. That car is my car. Sono kuruma wa watashi no kuruma desu. So if you remember in lesson 8, we've learned the word dore, which means which one, which is also used to identify from three or more objects. But the main difference is dono is always followed by a noun, and dore doesn't need a noun. For example, which one is your car? So in example number two, we say which car? Dono kuruma. Here we say which one? Is your car? Anata no kuruma wa dore desu ka? Anata no kuruma wa dore desu ka? But they basically mean the same thing. So let's have a quick recap of what we've learned today. The first one is connecting multiple verbs or actions by using the te form of the verb, and the last verb will determine the tense of the whole sentence. For example, shawa wa bite, asa goan o tabete, shigoto o shimasu. Tomodachi ni atte, ega o mite, yushoku o tabemashita. Densha ni notte, shinbashi de chikatetsu ni norikaite, ginza de orite kudasai. We've also learned how to connect adjectives or multiple adjectives. For e adjectives, we remove e and then replace that with kute. For nouns or na adjectives, we simply change des to de. Otousan wa yasashikute atama ga ii desu. Tenki ga yokute sujikatta desu. Kyoto wa kirei de omoshiroi desu. Nguen san wa betonamo jin de ryugakusei desu. Next, we've also learned how to say after doing action 1, we do action 2 by using verb 1 te kara verb 2. For example, kado o irete kara botan o oshite kudasai. Daigaku o dete kara seikai o ryokko shimasu. Shigoto o owatte kara biru o nomimasen ka? And you can also ask questions. For example, shigoto o owatte We've also learned how to describe an attribute of a person or a thing using noun attribute followed by ga and then the adjective. For example, Anna san wa kami ga nagai desu. Anna san wa me ga oki desu. Fransu wa tabemono ga oishi desu. Lastly, it's time for our conversation practice. Ashita, nani o shimasu ka? Please try to use more than one verb. If you're a student, gakko made dou yatte ikimasu ka? If you're working, shigoto made dou yatte ikimasu ka? Ie ni kaite kara nani o shimasu ka? Suki na ito wa don na ito desu ka? Please try to use multiple adjectives. Anata no machi wa don na machi desu ka? Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. If you have any questions or clarifications, Please write them down in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, いいねを押してください. And subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. For our next lesson, we will learn nai, form of the verb, and its uses. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!